Hello, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to stay organized inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. So one of the bigger issues that we find with a lot of projects that we work on, either that we're subbing in for or that we're working in after it's already been started, is a real lack of organization. Things are all over the place and it can get kind of confusing. Now, the cool thing about Go High Level is that it does a lot of stuff. The problem with Go High Level is that it can get very confusing and very disorganized very, very fast. If you don't take certain precautions, if you don't do certain things to make it easier on yourself and also also, you have to think about who's coming in after me. The client, it could be another developer, it could be any number of things. You wanna make it as simple as possible for the person who's coming behind you, could be a Facebook ads person, could be anybody, who's coming in behind you and you wanna make sure that they have no problem moving around in there and knowing where everything is. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to organize yourself and how to make things easier to navigate within Go High Level. So the first place we're gonna start off with is the dashboard. In the dashboard, you're gonna notice right off the bat that I already seem to have some kind of naming convention. I have everything numbered. The dashboard is the center of everything that works inside of Go High Level. I'm using our Summit Snapshot as an example right now to kind of go over where things are gonna be placed. What we have here right off the bat is the funnels. In that funnel, we see all the different things that are already built out. So now I'm gonna go a little deeper and I'm gonna actually show you where all the different parts are. So I always start with the funnel. The funnel is really the core of everything that we do here. It's the public face of the marketing campaign and where everything kind of starts. So we go over to sites and we go right over to funnels. Now we have three different folders here. The first one is the summit funnel. This is the main funnel where people will be able to register for the summit. And in the next one is the speakers for the summit. So the person who is hosting the summit obviously needs to get speakers for that summit. In order to do that, we have another funnel that we send out to speakers. And then the third one, which a lot of people don't realize that they need, is the archive. Now, oftentimes when you're building a lot of funnels and you're building a lot of websites and so forth like that, you get ideas, you do different things. Sometimes you've had your account for a very long time. You want to create an archive for something that's not live. Sometimes we'll even use a word like live in the text, in the title of the funnel or in the workflow or anything, just to let the next person who's coming behind them know that, hey, this thing is actually online right now. Even though oftentimes you're working just by yourself, you have to think you might want to grow your business. You might want to bring on a partner. You might want to have other people working with you. So you want to find easy ways to communicate together. So in here we have SMO1 because that's the Summit Funnel 01 and then SMO2. And then everything after that is going to match. So if I go into automations, you're going to see again SMO1. That's the Summit. We actually have the date on there because this may be cloned in the future for another date if they're gonna run the summit again. And then for the speakers, when we dive a little deeper, we also continue the numbering. If you look here, we have SMOO, SMO1, SMO2, and so forth down the list. And if you look here, everything is numbered and easy to understand. And guess what? It also matches things like our forms. So if we go to the forms, we have SMO1 again, and we have SMO2 again. Are you seeing a trend here? It makes it a lot easier for things to get organized. On top of that, very importantly, our pipeline. If we go into opportunities and we look here, we have two different pipelines. We have SMO1 again for the summit and SMO2 for the speakers. This is just gonna make things easier and more consistent. Being organized is by far the most important thing you can do when you're working with the team and you're building out your high level. A lot of times people will have a complete mess. What I often like to do when I'm working with something that is a complete mess is I will clone the funnels that are live, I will number them, and I'll throw everything in an archive just in case I might need it later. Another quick tip that you can also do is that you can add emojis and so forth to let people know exactly what you're using. You may be using a contractor from another country who might have a little problem knowing exactly what you're talking about. Using emojis can often be a universal language. On top of that, you can also use this information when you're doing your tags. You can have speaker tags, you can have summit tags, and also use it for your contact smart list. It would be SMO1 registrants, SMO2 speakers. You kind of get the idea here what we're talking about. We want to keep everything as organized as possible so that way
way we can have an efficient business and everything can stay clean. And when we're done using things, we want to add a Z or we want to add archive to it so that we know we are no longer using that. Now, if you like this video and you like the information that we're providing and helping you with your business, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.